Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to show you how to fix Adobe Premiere Pro lagging. So slow playback, um, just kind of being choppy or anything like that. Now, of course, it matters how much RAM you have. The bare minimum for Premiere is supposed to be eight gigs, but I thought that 16 gigs really should be the bare minimum for that. Um, and of course, the more you have, the better. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm here in Premiere Pro, and the first thing we'll wanna do is open the Media Cache option under Preferences. On a Mac, this is under Premiere Pro, and then Preferences, and then Media Cache here. On a PC, you can go to Edit, Preferences, Media Cache. So now we're going to clear the cache. So I'll come over here and choose Delete, and then I'm gonna choose Delete Unused Media Cache Files and say OK. So now I'm going to come down here to Media Cache Management, and we want to look at this second one, which is the Auto Delete. So I'm going to choose that. We'll say OK, and then I'm going to change this to about two weeks. I like to have it set around two weeks because I don't really reopen projects that old very often. Now I do want to say that setting your media cache to automatically delete like this does not actually mess up any of your projects in any way. If you do need to open older projects, Premiere just is going to have to work a little bit to recreate the cache files. So we'll say OK. Now another reason that Premiere might run slowly is because it doesn't have enough RAM allocated. So the second thing we're going to do is close the other open programs, especially Photoshop, Acrobat, and Bridge. Those three eat up a lot of RAM, I noticed. And After Effects does too, but I realize a lot of us use After Effects and Premiere together and like to have both of those open at the same time. Now we can also change our RAM settings under Memory. So go back up to your Preferences if you close them and choose Memory. You'll want to change the RAM reserved for other applications to as low as it'll go. For me, that's 3 gigs, and we'll say OK. Now, if you're still facing lag, even though we got rid of our unused cache files, it can be a good idea to just get rid of all of them. And as I mentioned before, this won't actually hurt any of your old projects. So first I'll tell you how to do this on a Mac. You'll go to your Finder and then hit Shift-Command-H. Next, go to Library. If you're not seeing Library here, right-click and choose Show View Options. And then make sure this bottom one is checked, Show Library Folder. So we'll come up here to Application Support, Adobe, and then scroll down to Common. To get to the same place on PC, you'll want to go to Users and then your username, then go to App Data, Roaming, Adobe, and then Common. Then you'll want to delete everything inside these folders. Media Cache, Media Cache Files, Peak Files, Team Projects Cache, and PTX, and then empty your trash. So now you've deleted all of your extra Premiere cache files. If you still have lag at this point, you can try resetting your Premiere Pro preferences, which will get rid of any customizing you've done to your workspace. So this really should be a last resort because it's kind of a pain to set that up again if you have it all customized the way you like it. But to reset them, you'll want to shut down Premiere Pro, and then when you go to restart it, Hold Option and Shift on a Mac or Alt and Shift on a PC. Now you'll want to hold those down until you get this little pop-up. Are you sure you want to reset your plugin caches and preferences? We'll say OK. And then hopefully your lag issue will be solved. Now if you're still having trouble, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try to help you out. Alright, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. You'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Alright, I'll see you next week with another video. Thank you!